Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're here live at the Kevin Ames Photography Studio and I'm going to show you a tutorial of a question I get asked all the time and it's dealing with not only shooting tethered into Lightroom CC but also at the same time tether into Lightroom Mobile so that shots can be reviewed on an iPad, an iPhone, an Android phone or Android tablet or even the web by your clients, assistants, makeup artists, or whoever's assisting you. So with that said, let's take a look at the setup. Here I've got the uh, Nikon D810 set up on a studio stand. I've got um, this great Italian opera mask that Kevin provided us that we're gonna do our shot with. As you can see, I've got a nice long tethering cable coming out of my camera and over into my Mac and a USB port, it's a USB 3 cable. Then I've got Lightroom running, of course, and I've got my iPad just sitting here, but it's also connected to Wi-Fi, or I can use the 4G. And with that said, let's go up to the file menu now. We'll choose uh, Tether Capture, Start Tether Capture, and this is where I can put in the name of the shoot, I can do any custom naming I want, start the numbering sequence wherever I want, and of course, put in any copyright, uh, metadata, or keywords. But more importantly, the new feature in Lightroom CC allows me to add to a collection as I'm tethered. So I'm going to go ahead and say add to a collection. Now, if I create a new collection, you can see that I can name the collection, put it in the collection set, and more importantly, I can have it sync with Lightroom Mobile. Well, I've already created the collection. It's called Italian Mask. It's already set to sync with Lightroom Mobile. So now when I click OK, not only will the shots I take bring, put it in a folder on my hard drive, but more importantly, it will automatically add them to that same collection, which will automatically sync them to Lightroom Mobile. So I'm going to go ahead and hide the tether bar with Command T on the Mac. We'll just head over to the camera. And we'll take our first test shot. So here we go. There's our first test shot. The shot pops right into Lightroom. And of course, since I've got it set, uh, to sync or to add that to a collection, it will add it to the collection. Well, first, it'll add it to the collection, then it'll build a smart preview in the background, upload that smart preview to Lightroom Mobile or the cloud using Creative Sync, and then, of course, that now appears on all your devices running Lightroom Mobile or even Lightroom.adobe.com, which is your web version of your collection syncing to Lightroom Mobile. So while that's happening in the background, I don't have to wait for it. I know it will happen. I can also continue to look at my shots, which by the way, if you come over here and look, we can see that it did just bring that shot in. So it is working. For those of you who can't see it here, let's uh, get out of full screen. I'll show it to you on my iPad. And there it is on my iPad. So that shot has, come, has already come in. I can look at it on the iPad. I can see all the settings for it. I can mark it as a pick. I can keep going and let my assistant critique and work on the shots. So let's head back to Lightroom and let's continue to go back in full screen. And now that we've got that all set and working, let's come over and take another shot. We'll zoom in a little closer. Take that one. We'll zoom in even closer and get the eyes. Make the adjustment there. We'll get the face actually. That looks great with the lips. And we'll zoom out. And again, all of these shots are heading over to my computer. I'm seeing the full screen here. And more importantly, if I go back out, they will also start to sync and appear in my iPad as well. So for those of you who wanted to tether and want to show your shots as you're taking them to a client that's local and you just hand them your iPhone, hand them your iPad, hand them your Android phone, your Android tablet, with Lightroom Mobile running, they will be able to see those shots as you're taking it. However, what if your client is off somewhere in another location, off in the distance? Then what you can also do is you can take that collection, here, let's get out of it for a second, and let's actually go to the collection. We'll go to the collection here, Italian Mask. We can take that collection and we can make it public. So if I choose make public, what that will do is it will generate a URL for that collection. And then 
I can click or send that collection to the person that I want to be able to look at these shots. They will only be able to see that, collect, that one collection, not all of my collections. And if they're signed in with an Adobe ID, they can give feedback, they can click on a shot, they can like the shot, or they can even add comments to the shot. So I can have someone off in the distance, in another location, another city, another country, looking at the shoot as I'm doing it, giving me feedback on the shots as I'm taking them. And of course, if I don't want a shot to be in the collection anymore, I can just go ahead and remove it from the collection, and it also removes it everywhere else on Lightroom Mobile. So that's how to tether with Lightroom Mobile from your DSLR, Canon or Nikon, using the tethering cable, tethering into Lightroom, and now Lightroom with the tether capability has the ability to automatically add to a collection as you take the shots, and then, of course, have those shots on Lightroom for web or Lightroom for your mobile devices. So with that said, let's go ahead and get out of this one shot. We can see the other ones have started to come in, and again, we go to the iPad, they've come in on the iPad as well. Now, of course, uh, we did the first four shots that automatically went to our collection and, of course, synced to Lightroom Mobile. And that's great for people that are working on set with you and they see what you're doing and they can see the entire workflow. However, if you were sending this to a client and they were watching this on the web, then you may not want them to see all the shots or the bad shots or the times where the flash didn't fire and it's just a black frame. So here's another way we can work around this, um, around that problem. Instead of tethering and having it go right to the collection, you would tether the way you always do and just have it go to the folder. So you would just, when you start your tether capture, here, let's try it one more time. When you do tether capture and you say, actually I was still in it, let me stop it. There we go, start our tether capture. So when you start your tether capture, you would do all the same things you always do, you just wouldn't add them to a collection automatically. So that will bring in the new shots, just as I've done here, to the same folder that you were bringing them into, but of course it would not add them to the collection. So if I go down to the Italian mask collection, uh, those new shots are not there because I set it up in such a way that I was just tethering to the folder for those last ones. Now what I can do is right click on this collection and I can set it as a target collection. By default, your target collection is your quick collection at the top of the um, collection or top of the um, sidebar, but you can change that now. You can say set this as my target collection. So now it has the little plus sign on it to let you know it's the target collection. And what that means is that you can manually send images to that collection when you're ready. So for example, if I go to my Italian uh, opera mask, and let's say I really like this one because of the detail, and I want the client to see that one too, I just hit the letter B, and you can see it added it to the target collection. The letter B is in Bravo. So now, if I don't like this one for whatever, whatever reason, or maybe I do like this one, so I'll hit the letter B again, but I don't like this one, and I do like this one. So now I'm controlling which ones go to that collection, and more importantly, which ones will sync to Lightroom Mobile. So now I have seven out of the eight shots, or 70 out of 800 shots, that are the best ones that I'm reviewing. I'm just hitting the letter B as I see a good shot. Um, and those will go to the collection as well. So you have two ways to do it. You can either have them all go to the collection as you shoot using the tethering add to collection option, or you can still tether to a folder like Lightroom has done for years and then manually send them to that collection that's syncing with Lightroom Mobile by just hitting the letter B on your keyboard after you set it as a target collection. Once you're done with it as a target collection, if you wanna go back to your quick collection as the target, you just right click on that and set that as the target and that will be the default that Lightroom always starts with. Now it does not take out any of the images that were already there, it just knows that you know hitting the letter B will no longer put them in this collection. So that's it, hope you learned something, take care and we'll catch you on the next one.